All right, guys, day two out here on Lake Taps. We had a really productive uh, day yesterday. I think we had five fish that uh, hit the net, a couple topwater fish. Swimming dog's been really good by Muskie Innovations. And the Eli back here, he's been putting us on the fish. And uh, we expect some more. We got Lynn up here up front casting the hot bait. I think she's going to get it done here in just a few minutes. So stay tuned. We're going to put some fish in the net. Get the net. Hell yeah, Lynn. Hell yeah. Gotta believe. Finally. Gotta believe. Yeah. Hell yeah, Lynn. Got him. Right. All right, guys. Fish, first fish in the net. To be expected, Lynn up on the front with the hot bait. Put a good one in the net. Nice little chunky tiger. And uh, hit both sides, too. Should be a really cool strike. And uh, Eli is really putting them on us here. We're, what are we working today, Eli? Right now we're working off the river channel and working the weed edge right there uh, out in open water. We've got mountain views in the back, you can't beat it. Yep, can't beat it. Some nice deep weeds out here. Awesome, awesome fishery out here. And uh, who's gonna be next? Chris, you gonna get one yeah. next? I think Lynn will get another one. Lynn's gonna get another one? Cool. All right. Stay tuned, we're gonna put some more in that. Fish, fish, fish. Oh, yeah. Got him. Oh, it's a good one, dude. Oh, it's all. Oh, it's all. Oh. Look at him just sink down. He fucking swam straight towards me. He fucking waked up on it, dude. Did you see that? Dude. Did you get that on film? Pretty sure. All right, Chris just had probably one of the most insane topwater strikes. Pretty close to the boat, within 30 foot of the boat. We're hoping we got it on the GoPro, but uh, I'm a real strong believer in high skies, middle of the day, over the top of the weeds, you know, to entice them to come out and throw some topwater baits, move them kind of fast. We got 70 degree water temps, so perfect topwater time. Hell Good yeah, stuff. cool yeah, cool strike. Hopefully we got that on film and uh, stick with us. Hopefully get some more fish in the net. <laughs> We just ended the troll session. We ended up losing one right there at the last minute, but we could not handle the uh, pleasure boats anymore. The wakeboard boats were flying in and out of there. It was a total chaos. And we got sunset coming up here in about an hour, hour and a half. And uh, we just started casting. And uh, it's looking really fishy. It actually is the first kind of weather change we've had in the last couple days. And it completely clouded up. And uh, one thing we're doing here, is just dealing with this pressure out here with this on this main body of water. There's pleasure boaters all around us, and 
uh, what do you, what's some of the things you do out here just to... You gotta have confidence, for sure. Uh, being able to control the boat and the waves or whatever it is, it's just, the fish are still gonna eat, no matter what, especially if you have active fish, which we did earlier today on the same spot. Uh, on some top water, uh, kind of come through right here at, at moon set and see what we can make happen. So, as long as you have the confidence and you can battle the waves and deal with some of these, you know, idiots out of the water, yeah, make you can, it happen. Still. Yeah, you can see them out here. There's a lot of boats out here. There's a lot of a lot of boating pressure in this lake, but there's little fishing pressure, and uh, you just got to get out here and grind it out, and uh, you will prevail. You got anything to say here, Chris? Well, speaking of the chaos today. With all these boats, we, we definitely have to thank Rick for Chaos Tackle for setting up uh, Southeast 2020 rods to use. They are just phenomenal. Great hook sets. And, I mean, they've just been perfect for what we're doing casting today. And then uh, Eli back here, he's throwing a complete Shimano. He's got the new, the Tranks 400 and a Shimano Styx rod. And how are you liking that thing? They're pretty good. Uh, we just got these in our hands. Lynn and I have been throwing them for about three weeks. We've uh, been, been handling the pressure and definitely uh, cooking the fish, so we've been doing uh, pretty well. You like tigers? I love tigers. I like tigers. Do you guys like tigers? I love tigers. What about you, Eli? Hey, that's why I'm here. <laughs> All right, guys, stick with us. We're going to do everything we can to put some more in the net. session of day three we've had an awesome trip here with Eli out here on Lake Taps been a great time some great weather too haven't had any rain oh it's been hot as hell I'll say that I mean, we had 100 degree weather yesterday but it was the only day we had some cloud cover Lynn got it done got it in the got the fish in the bag uh, we had a couple other eats and seen a few other fish but had some we, good action yesterday yeah we got four hours this morning to uh, give it hell and see if we can make it happen before these boys head to the airport. All right guys, stick with us. We're gonna do everything we can to put some in the bag. Yeah. Oh. 
Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> Did it take us a while? Oh, there's one. There's ah, one right there. Hey, they eat bucktails. Bucktail fish, hell yeah, dude. <laughs> nice On the set. eight, too. Nice hook set, too, dude. Yeah, it was a good one. Fucking did it like a frog. That was crazy. That was crazy. Yep, right at the, off the tip. Like right, right on that little saddle. Oh, hell yeah, dude. <laughs> right through. say about that Eli? I think I like tigers. Well guys, it's been a pretty eventful morning. First thing, Eli had one up in the eight and just conquered that eight. What a, what a freaking hook set on that. It was pretty good. Saw it came in last minute, brought it around on the first corner, got her to eat on the corner and ripped her head off. Yeah, awesome hook set, awesome fish too. Nice healthy fish. And then we moved to spot number two and uh, Eli actually had one up in the eight on the drone, which that should be pretty cool too. And then uh, Lynn up there, she lost one had that on film too so it's been a really eventful morning had a couple other fish sightings and stuff so stick with us going to spot number three and hopefully we can conquer come on, come on, come on, come on. he's still here there you go coming right back over there okay. yeah He sunk down right on the back side of that weed bed. 